Welcome back everyone and welcome back to the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge. I am your host, Andrea Huck. So today is, let's see, it's day three of our two week challenge and you guys have been submitting a lot of your amazing work in Discord. So thank you so much for sharing all those. I love to see it. Welcome everyone in the chat who's just joining. Uh, Cornell, hey there again. We've got Esty, uh, welcome everyone. Michelle, thanks for joining everyone. If you have any questions throughout this stream, don't hesitate to put it in the chat and I will uh, reply to you and let you know. All right, so I'm gonna head on over to Behance. Let's get this started. Get rid of that. All right, so if you wanna follow along, I'm on behance.net slash challenge slash XD and we'll just dive right in and see what today's challenge is. So of course, if you're not already registered, go ahead and sign up with that big blue button up there. And then each day at 8 a.m., you will be notified in your Creative Cloud app up here that there's a new challenge. So this is kind of your homepage, as always, if you're new, of where you can just come and check out and see what the new prompt is for each day. So today, what I want you guys to do, this one is super fun, very easy. I want you to design an e-commerce website for workout apparel. As you design the website, add navigational aids such as anchor links. So if you've never used anchor links before, super easy. I'll give you a little preview because I know some of you are like, we want to see what we're designing at the beginning. So this, let's see if it's loaded, yes. So this is kind of what we're going to be creating today. We've got some links up at the top. So like just different sections of a website, tops, bottoms, equipment, bestsellers, and just being able to quickly scroll to that part in the page, as well as a scroll to top button. Super handy, especially if you're scrolling through just a lot of content, especially on like a shopping site things like that. So this is a fun one to learn. Um, all right, what else? If you want to grab this starter file that I always provide for you guys, just hit get started. That will bring you to Dropbox and you can just download that file and that will look a little something like this. Again, it won't have all of my components since you know that's my own design. So I would love for you guys to come up with your own, but it will have this whole area. Um, also, if you are not already a member of Discord, definitely encourage you guys to sign up. So that is, you can sign up right here and that'll take you to this page. I already have it open, but it'll ask if you want to create a new account, create a username and such. So this is Discord. If you're not already a member, we've got about 50,000 of you guys already. It's crazy. So such a great community. Um, you can ask questions over here in the ask a question channel. You can post your work. Lots of you guys have been posting your work this week already. Uh, I love seeing all of your designs from, I guess it was Tuesday, the first challenge. So cool. Um, so I will be reviewing a few of these at the end of this stream if we have time. So definitely be sure to share your work on here or on Behance if you want to. And then if you just want to see when we're going, when I'm going live for the creative challenge during these two weeks, you can just check up here in this channel and Sam will let you know every day. Um, all right, so that is Discord. Let's go ahead and jump into our design. Welcome everyone who's just joining in the chat. Uh, we've got Senthil, John, hi from, I'm not sure what that flag is. Uh, I'm not gonna try to guess because then it will, I don't know, that'll just show my geographic incapabilities. Um, that's not a word, but welcome everyone in the chat. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm in the starter file. Like I mentioned, we're doing an e-commerce website with anchor links. So this is gonna be right over here. We're gonna hop in the prototype tab right here and it's grayed out right now, but it'll be a scroll to action under this little drop down right there. And then I always give you guys some inspiration Oh, Netherlands, he said in the chat. <laughs> that flag was Netherlands, good to know. Learned something new today. <laughs> um, all right, so these are just some examples if you wanna do something like this. 
So this one I kind of liked how it was uh, divided up into three sections. So we've got our menu over here. We've got the main area. So maybe this is like a restaurant where you can order takeout from. And then this would be your area up here where you can just scroll to a certain section in the site. And this one, if you want to, you don't just have to do text. <clears throat> you could also do icons or illustrations like this. So I thought these icons were kind of cute. So if you want to use anchor links like that too, you're totally welcome to. And then of course, as always, we've got a resource booklet right here. Hop back in the design tab and you can just hop through some of these tabs, see some of my favorite resources, uh, links to icons and such. Um, and then down here, so just a few tips. Well, I kind of already mentioned it, but if you want to use buttons, you, you don't have to use just text basically. So it could be pictures, text, um, icons, anything else that you want to use as a navigational aid. And anchor links in general just help users stay on your site longer since if they have to, they're trying to get back to the top and they're scrolling for a long time, that might make them just click away. So adding something super easy like a scroll to top button with the uh, anchor link feature is really handy. So I have already got this artboard started. So this is just 1920 by 1080. You can add a new artboard over here and then just scroll down and tap that one. Now I've already started the menu up here. It is pretty big. I just wanted it to... I wanted to do something that I don't normally do. So really focusing on all of these links right here. And then guys, I am obsessed with this font. What was this? Um, Blenny. Isn't that just the cutest little and or ampersand? So cute. Um, so I always get all my fonts from, let's see, I have a, there we go. One of these tabs open just from Adobe fonts. And then I like to look through these like curated sort of sections. So I found it in this one. This is the font or spark font pack. So you can just look through those kind of a fun place to look for fonts. So we've already got four sections started here, bit of a tongue twister. So tops, bottoms, equipment, and best sellers. So again, these are just gonna be sections that we can kind of scroll through. So I'm gonna start with just tops. And since this is a uh, workout, athletic sort of gear, it'll be workout, workout outfits. So I've got a lot of components over here. Again, I just got these from Adobe Stock. I know, I use Adobe Stock just like all the time for all of these. Um, so just, we'll just give it like a row of four sports bras. And actually, this was uh, actually just one photo and then I took it into Photoshop because I wanted to have all of these have the same color scheme. So sometimes I do that if I'm being like really I want everything super precise. So I'm just making this a row that you can kind of scroll through horizontally and adding some arrows on the left and the right sides here. And I kind of want, I'm trying to line this up with like this line vertically right here. And then this, let's see, we can line this up. Give these a bit more spacing. That looks good. Or you could use the horizontal distribute up there. Um, cool. Yeah, Jennifer said I was gonna ask what the font was. Yep. One of my faves. My favorite of the week this at least. <laughs> Alright, so let's scroll up. So now I just need like some product descriptions. So we can just say like diamond shaped sports bra. Cool. And I don't want this. I usually reserve the more like decorative kind of crazy fonts for just headers really just like the H1, no other, nothing else on the page because it's pretty busy. So this, I'm just gonna make Ariana Pro. And then I'll just center this right under. And we also need the price. So we'll say this is like $50. Guys, sports bras are expensive, I'm telling you. It is crazy. Just trying to work out here, you know? And just gonna move these down a tad bit. Maybe we'll add like new or something. 
above this. Oops, new. There we go. Center that. Okay. And then instead of, these are kind of just placeholders, um, but I'll just use repeat grid to bring some duplicates under the rest of these. Okay. Space this out a bit more. Looks good. Okay, cool. So that is my first row. Pretty simple. You know, I don't want this to be too busy, but really we're just focusing on these links up here. So scroll into them. Now I want to add these three other sections. So in order to do that, I need to select the whole artboard. So select that title up there. And then we just need to drag this down a bit, actually quite a lot. Drag this down. And then when we do that, you'll see that, oh, I unselected it. You'll see that we get this little blue dotted line. Might be kind of hard to see, but little blue dotted line. And this is where um, everything that is above that dotted line means it's above the fold. So that is the only area that the user will see before they start scrolling. But if I want to change this, I can just move this wherever I want. I usually recommend just keeping it initially um, where it started at. Otherwise, you might not know what is cut off when like what the user sees. So I'm just going to keep it there and let's just copy this whole section. Actually, I just want to copy this, this and just the arrows in the text, not the photos. Copy that, paste it and we'll just make another section. So this will be bottoms or pants or whatever you want. And I'll bring all my photos in. And I didn't bother getting rid of the white background on these cause it's still gonna be, um, it's gonna be up here. So it doesn't really matter. And again, I brought these, I brought, I only licensed one of these, but I wanted them all to be the same color. So I brought it into Photoshop and did the extra work to color all of these the same, same color scheme. Okay. So that looks good. Again, we could like rechange the text if we want to, but I'm not going to worry about that. All right. So let's copy it again, bring this down. Okay. And this will be equipment equipment cool oh wait i was looking at the chat instead of typing okay so now again let's just bring some of our photos in just kind of evenly distribute these and i'm going to have to make this a little bit bigger here Um, Cynthia asked Google spreadsheet. What's the purpose? So yeah, I do have that, uh, plugin in my plugins over here. Let's see, where is it? Yeah. Google sheets. So that is for, uh, if you have a lot of data and you don't want to have to input or like change everything across all of your artboards. So for instance, it's great for like a calendar. So you just input all of your days. Uh, automatically in Google Sheets, and then it will update in XD across all your artboards. So that's a very useful one. I like it a lot. All right, last one, copy and paste, and this will be best sellers, best sellers. So I just want to add enough rows so we can show the scrolling enough and I'll bring our photos in, got a jump rope, yoga mat. And there we go. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Now, um, so before I start adding the scrolling feature, I do want to show you one thing that we need to change. So let's hop into the prototype tab and let's just preview it right now. And you'll see that when we scroll, there are some things that aren't necessarily. Oh, well, I already did it. Never mind. Well, I was going to say, so. Normally, like this, I guess I already did it. So this would be, oh, I see what I did. Okay, so we need to have this on home. That was on another artboard. Let's preview this again. Okay, so when I start scrolling, you'll see that nothing is, like this should stay right here. And we just wanna see the rest of this content scrolling. So what we need to do, I already previewed a different artboard. That was why that 
appeared like that. Okay, so we need to select, let's go back into the design tab. Select just everything up here, but not select the background. And we'll fix position when scrolling. And we also want everything here to come to the top layer. So when everything scrolls, this will all be below it. So let's go in our layers panel. And we just need to drag all of these up. We've got a lot of layers on here. Just drag them all the way up to the top. So that way all of those always stay above everything else. And we also want the background actually to fix position when scrolling. So just use that little checkbox if you notice something is scrolling when you don't want it to. So now when we preview, that looks a lot better. All right, let's add, let's go back into our assets panel or actually prototype. Now we can start adding the scroll to feature. So let's just, we'll go through each of these, select one of your links and then just drag your little blue arrow down to whatever section of the page you want. And we'll select tops here. So our trigger over in the details panel over here, trigger, just tap and our action will be scroll to. That's what we're gonna use for the anchor links. Scroll to destination since we dragged it um we don't need to select a destination but you could come in here and do that manually if you want and then you'll see that i've added a y offset and that just means well let me set it to zero so i can show you what it looks like um, if it doesn't have a y offset so let's just say we scroll down to the bottom we want to go back up to the top and it did bring us to the top but it thinks that we wanted to bring it all the way to the very top, like this part right here. But we actually wanted to just come right here. So that's kind of why I made this menu like really big so I could show you that feature. So let's go back and just add that negative 400. And you know, you may need to just kind of play around with that number to see exactly where, uh, test it out, see where you want it to land. But now when we preview it and we scroll to the bottom and then we go to tops, it'll automatically scroll and this will stay right here. So negative 400 is the amount of pixels that we have um, that it'll go down. Cool. So now we can do the same thing for the rest of these. Let's select bottoms. We'll bring this, bring this down here. And uh, same thing. Usually whenever you, uh, whatever trigger you used for the previous one, it will automatically like input that for the next one. So same thing, scroll to, uh, same Y offset, negative 400, that's fine. And we can preview and see if that works. Perfect. And then equipment and best sellers should just be super easy. They should be the same thing. Same thing. And best sellers go all the way down. <laughs> and we can preview all, all of those now. So best sellers, equipment, bottoms, and tops. Cool. Now, one other thing, if we do want to add, let's go back into the design tab. If we do want to add just a scroll to top button, we can add that right down here. And I'll kind of try to line this up with that. Okay, so this can be our scroll to top button. And again, I want to fix this position when scrolling. So make sure you check that little check mark right there. And we can play. Oh, I didn't add the uh, trigger. So this same thing as the tops one i want this to go straight here this is the top basically of our page when we click that so we can preview let's say we scroll all the way down and we press that up arrow voila and you can change the timing if you want it to scroll a little slower than that you totally can do that um, but yeah so that is a very quick little intro to navigation aids and scrolling Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and command S to save. And as always, if you want to save this as an MOV file, just press that play button and you can press the record button and then just tap around wherever you want and it'll save it as an MOV file. Cool. All right. And also if you want to export, just go to file, export, batch, and you can export it as a PNG or whatever you want. Cool. All right. Okay, so now let's go back to Behance and we can take a look at my project that I already have started. Go up to edit. 
So make sure when you're in Behance, go over to that settings panel and in the discoverability tab right here, you have that keyword XD daily challenge so I can find your work and give you feedback if you'd like. Cool. So let's save and you can kind of see what I've been doing for my project. Let's scroll on down here. You can take a look. All right, so there is the MOV file that I've added to Behance. If you want, you can do that. You can upload it just as a uh, static PNG. That's totally fine too, whatever you prefer. I always like to add kind of a little background, usually like this one, but feel free to do whatever you want. All right, so now I'm gonna look at some of you guys' work, one of my favorite parts. So I'm just going to uh, Behance, just searching XD Daily Challenge, and let me refresh this. So we can see some new ones. There's been like a lot in Discord, so I'm trying to get to all of them. If I haven't given you feedback on Discord, uh, don't worry, I'm, I'm trying to get to all of them. So let's see, I've already got a few pulled up right here. Oh, this one was so cool. This is by Xena. Um, this was the one on Tuesday. So our very first, first one of the challenges. Okay, let me bring this back. So this was the uh, location indicator, sort of. So we used a 360 degree photo to kind of look through all of our pages. And this is so cool. I see, oh, it's so quick. I see you're using um, a little like blueprint, a face down map sort of of the house, which is so cool. And I like that you use that little circle indicator. That's a cool idea. Awesome. That one is so cool. That was Xena. Thank you so much for sharing if you're watching Xena. And let's go on to this one. Oh, uh, Jovan, I think I saw you in the chat, maybe. Uh, all right, let's scroll on down. So, um, cool 3D renders, like this little mock-up and the color palettes. I love that font. Playfair display, one of my favorites also. See the prototype. And I think this is, yes, this is a video. Let's check out the video. This one was really cool too. Whoa, <laughs> it looks so real. So we're in the living room and then dining room, kitchen. This is awesome. And then fireplace. This looks so like real and 3D because you use that 3D photo. That is awesome. Ooh, and dark. Oh, at night. That's cool. That's really cool. What a nice touch. Awesome. Oh, how do I get out of this? Let's see. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, Jovan, sorry if I'm butchering your name. I'm not good with names. <laughs> okay, um, let's look at another one, maybe in Discord. Let's go back to the current challenge channel. Okay, day one. I kind of want to find one from just yesterday. Was this yesterday? Yes, so yesterday was the progress meter. So we did sort of a checkout flow and we have that progress meter at the very top. So let's, let's look at this prototype. If I can get this full screen. Cool, let me bring this back to the beginning. Card basket, all right, so we've got, we can see our cart, we've got some cute fruits in there. And then step two, we see like the payment uh, how much it's going to cost. Step three. Cool. And then check out. Nice. It does get a little bit busy down here. I might suggest uh, just trying to maybe remove a few of these things on the last screen, just so we don't overwhelm the user too much. But other than that, your, uh, your progress meter looks really great. Thank you for sharing that. All right, let's go back to Discord. We've got time for one or two more. Okay, day two, this is another day two one. Let's see. Oh, another quick one. <laughs> you guys make these so quick. Okay, address, awesome. Got our little animation up there, payment, very nice. The uh, white text on green is a little bit hard to read might want to make it um, something with a little bit more contrast. Maybe the green could be a tad bit darker. But I love your animation up here. That looks awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. That was a uh, true shield. Very cool. Let's see. Let's look at this one. 
Or did I already look at this? No, I don't think I did. Okay, this one's by Edith, and this is the one from Tuesday. So again, location indicator. Let me bring this back so we can watch it from the beginning. Awesome, swimming pool. Wow, this is a fancy house. <laughs> Outdoor dining, lounge area. Oh, it's like for a vacation place. That's cool, vacation home. That is so cool, awesome. All right, well, thank you guys all so much for sharing your work. That is about all the time that I have left for today. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be in Discord after this, check in your work and giving you feedback. And don't go anywhere, because in about five minutes, we have our draw along with Kyle Webster. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow at the same time, 2 p.m. Pacific. Bye, guys.